department and their grad students are in the process of putting together an insect fair. Yeah, it sounds like fun for the whole family. And joining us now is event organizer Kelsey Shaw. And I see that you brought some friends with you. I did. We Ooh. have lots of insects to share. Well, let's hold some, see some. What do we got? <laughs> all about okay, it. so the first thing I have to show you guys is uh, a bunch of walking sticks. This is the Vietnamese walking stick. Can you guess where it's from? Mm, Vietnam? <laughs> Good guess. Ah, yes, on, they're found in tropical rainforests. Look at that. Could be relatives. Look at that. And so great. We have a leaf insect. This one's from the Philippines. Right, and we don't have insects like this here in Ooh, the U.S. Wait, or what? Or do yeah, we? we we have some. Some of them not. Some of them aren't spiking. quite as big. He's got his thing up and he's no, off. you know this. Actually, what they do is uh, <laughs> camouflage, right. um, and they mimic leaves, obviously, and sticks. Right, um, and I think very convincingly. Very, and I saw the first time I saw one of these in my backyard. Now this one is from somewhere else, but. So fantastic. And what is yeah. this and one what is this, one? this one is my very favorite. This is the Australian walking stick, also known as the giant prickly stick insect. Wow. It's not so giant now. She's not an adult yet, but she will grow to be eight inches long. How do you long. know they're girls? Um, well, yeah. you can you see know. this one doesn't have any wings, um, oh. and the, the males have wings. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, let's put her right here. She's and how old? How long does it take before she's on to her. Okay. Uh, full grown? Probably about uh, two or three months. Yeah. Wow. So in, in total, it takes them about six months. Right. Um, and you can see I have a, actually have a male here. They're very well, very well hidden. Sure. Um, great and you can pets. great pets, I and they're say, super we've easy had to so hold. Many of these kinds of little creatures in my home. I thought my son Charles would wind up being an entomologist. So this one's the male here. Oh, wow. You can see the it's wing pads. Color, yeah. yeah, it's lighter in color so they can come in lots of different colors. It depends right. on Show the food that they're reared they on. See. Right? Oh. So and great. the amazing thing about these stick and leaf insects is that most of them are parthenogenic. And that actually means that they can reproduce without males. Yeah, which is um, happening all over and the place. <laughs> <laughs> and they can create exact copies of themselves. So um, tell us more about the fair. Again, when is it and how do people get there? Who's invited? Yeah, so uh, well, everyone's invited. Good. Um, <laughs> luckily, uh, it's a family-friendly event. Um, it's going to be on Saturday, April 29th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's in downtown Riverside at the Riverside Metropolitan Museum, which is on Mission Inn Avenue. Right. And we'll have oh, all of these insects here for you guys to come and touch. And um, do you also have the Madagascar? Because we were Oh, yes, we do. Cool. Yes, we definitely oh, do. Cool. Look at that. So we also have the, the hissing cockroaches, right? Yeah, the Madagascar hissing those. cockroaches. I will grab those. You guys have been such good you, sports. I, well, he can't go by himself back in there, can he? Yes, he can. Oh, she can. She can. I don't know about uh, the cockroaches, so I'm not sure. So this uh, is definitely... Loves, look at that. She loves me. Look, I know. She see, they want to climb up because they think ah. you're a tree. I see. So we got to convince them Lots that to get to get up. <laughs> yeah, think I'm a tree. Let's see the big Madagascar though. Yeah. Uh, we have so yeah, bring the whole family. And bring have the whole fun. family. Not be afraid. Yeah. So what do we have? Okay, this is gonna look a little like Fear Factor. Okay. I noticed there's Vaseline up a little bit. I will not you can see you. all the cockroaches. Oh, but okay, don't so be do afraid. No, oh, come on. Okay, so some of them hiss and some of them don't. They uh, they all hiss, but ours are so tame and so friendly that they don't really get disturbed by us. The okay. reasons they hiss is um, if they're disturbed. Right. Sometimes the males will hiss at one another in kind of a dominance uh, competition. Sure. Um, to show you know the other who's boss wow. and then back the down. So we're gonna try right. them on for size. But we gotta go. Yes. Hey, San Dimas is also having an event this spring that may be fun for all of you creative types and artists next.